What's up guys, Sparky Izzy here and today we're going to be installing some RGB soffit lights. These fixtures are made by a company called Lumery. I am not sponsored by this company but they were nice enough to send me a couple of fixtures to test out. These lights are compatible with Alexa and Google Assistant. You can change the color from 2700K all the way up to 6500K and provide 16 million color variations. These lights are controlled either by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and they can also be synced up to music. I will post links down below on where you can get these, either Amazon or their website. Without further ado, let's get started. So some tools that I use for this specific project are 14.2 Romex. I use some plastic Romex connectors. I use some yellow wire nuts. A drill with a 6 inch recess can hole saw. And if you don't have a hole saw, you can use this hole cutout template and you can cut out the hole however you want. I used a multi-tool and of course you need the fixtures themselves. I also just recently purchased these pulling rods from Amazon. I like them better than the Greenlee ones or the Klein ones just because of how skinny they are and they work better for small jobs like this. I'm going to be removing this light fixture above the door and I'm going to be replacing it with a recess cam. If your panel is not labeled properly or if you don't have your multimeter handy, the best thing to do is to turn on the light switch and keep turning off the circuit breakers until that specific light turns off. Please remember that all electrical work should be done by a qualified person per NEC. Using a flashlight, I was able to peek through the soffit and see where all the ceiling joists are. That's why you see that blue tape because I marked every ceiling joist so I knew exactly where I wanted my light and I knew where to drill so that I could feed my Romex. If you're going to be using a hole saw, I recommend that you do a pilot hole first so that the hole saw doesn't walk on you. Make sure you put your drill on a low speed. And if it came with a handle, put that on unless you like to get slapped in the face. The mounting clips don't come pre-assembled on the light, but they're pretty easy to put on. Before we start making more holes, let's check the fitment. When taking the fixture back down, just be careful with the clip because it will spring back. And I would say the minimum depth that you need to install these lights is about half an inch. Repeat this process on all the remaining lights. I was getting a lot of wood shavings in my face so it was a perfect time to try these Milwaukee face masks that they sent me. Thank you Milwaukee Tools. After all the holes are made, it's time to wire it up. It's best to roll out the Romex instead of pulling it off the spool to make it easier when you're pulling wire by yourself. Now I gotta drill through all these joists to get my wire from point A to point B. I recommend this little giant king combo ladder. It makes it easy getting onto these corner spots and it's the only A-frame ladder that I know of that is designed to lean up against the wall. With all the pulling rods pulled in, I'm gonna daisy chain the Romex. Daisy chaining simply means going from light to light until I get to the last light. I'm going to 
backtrack a little bit and I'm going to show you how I converted this existing light to a recess cam. I couldn't use a hole saw in this specific situation so what I did is I used a template that came with the light and I used a multi-tool to cut it out. two or 12 two is acceptable it just depends what size breaker the circuit is on if you're using 14 two you can get away with using one knockout if you're using 12 two I would recommend using both knockouts provided for those of you new in the trade we hook up the ground first then the neutral then the hot so it's going to be the bare grounds to green the neutrals to white and your hot wires also known as a switch leg to black Electrical tape is optional, but I like to wrap tape around these type of fixture lids just so that it doesn't pop open. Repeat the process for the remaining lights. If you're wondering why the lights are flashing, they're just in pairing mode because the lights are waiting for me to sync them up to the app. I'm making a follow up video to show how to do that and to show the capabilities of the app. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Thank you guys for watching. Sparky Izzy, peace.